How about that for free? F-R-E-E, -E, free raised bed garden made from rocks that we already had here on the homestead. That is awesome. Look how big it was. Look how big the underneath was. Stay out of the way. Look at all that clay dirt. It's crazy that it grew in there. Look at that. spot is a stump. I can't do no more. Thank you so much. Is that good? That's so good. Now we need to bring in the rocks. Start for the front? Maybe for the front. Maybe like come up like a, like a little like this on each side and then I want them to come and kind of meet a little bit here and have a doorway. So as you see, I stacked everything on the right-hand side up in front of the garden. Now it's time to do the left side. We had to wait for another weekend or so before we can get back to it. I started stacking on the left side, and I decided it was time for him to put in the dirt and the compost. So he did it all the way to the right, and he made it pretty high, as high as a double stack of rock. And then I had him do it on the left side as well, because I couldn't stack the rock. He wouldn't be able to drive in there with the bobcat. So as you see here, he's pulling it in. I made a nice clear path from the front archway into the actual raised bed garden that has the fence around it. And I made a spot right across from the greenhouse, you can see it right there, where I could back in a side-by-side, -side, use a wagon, use a tractor. I didn't want to have to walk all the way around. But there he is bringing in some more rocks for me now to finish it off. And that was a big, large corner rock. They are so heavy. Look at that. That's my compost versus the dirt that's on our ground. Isn't that crazy? Okay, one bed is done everybody so one bed is done the next step will be to go gather more rocks 
and come down through the center here and see this rock wall. We're gonna do a rock wall from the raised bed garden all the way to here. And then this rock wall, as you see, is shorter and it's smaller on this east side is because I do need space to move the side by side in and out for me to walk in and out from the greenhouse over to the garden. And then this side just needs one solid row of rocks. Okay, we got this whole bed outlined. This whole bed outlined. This will need a second layer of rocks, which I'm gonna go get. And then they are gonna be ready to be spread out and then we could do some planting. I'm always getting hurt. If you watch my videos and my vlogs, you will see that I'm constantly getting hurt. I'm tripping, I'm falling in poop or I'm, ooh busting my finger. Last year I did it when I was putting this fence around the garden because Bonnie likes to go in and dig. So this is going to be kind of a challenge whenever I start planting to see if she digs up my seeds. But there she is. She's such a good girl though. Bonnie, are you gonna dig in the garden? Look, she's so sweet and innocent. She's like, no mom, I'm not gonna dig in your new garden. But let me just go over and smell all the stuff that you've been doing lately. And there's a good boy. Yes. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm done. Now I just need to backfill some of the dirt and the compost on all beds. And I think all the hard labor is done, except the hoeing and raking. So this is the east side. And this is the west side. This is temporary just for show. I'm gonna do a full piece of hog panel there. That's just half of one. So here is what the whole thing looks like. Well, that does it for me tonight, guys. I am so happy that you watched this video. I'm so excited that I have this additional gardening space with this raised bed rock garden. It's okay. I'm not sure if Bonnie likes it or not. In our next video, we're gonna do the planting in this raised bed garden. Everything that's companion planting to sweet corn. I wanna do the bigger crops, the corn, the cucumbers, the squashes. I wanna do all that out here, pumpkins, so it'll have its own space to just grow and expand and do whatever it wants. And it's gonna be wonderful. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you had a great time. Go ahead and hit the little subscribe button. And if you haven't, hit the little tingle bell. It'll alert you every single time I upload a new video. And I really appreciate you. Hope you have a great night. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.